All right, so I'm going to show you a powerful trick here. So we got this Facebook business page here, and I'm going to go and see if this business has a Google My Business set up, trying to make sure that they have a Google My Business presence. And it's powerful, and it's getting more powerful to have that Google My Business presence. And it's really easy for you to set up, too. There are people that are charging for this. You could do it for free. We got this business here. I'm going to go and Google these guys and see, do they have a... Google My Business Setup. So I don't see anything over here off to the side in my Google search results. So that tells me they don't have a Google My Business. And if I were to you know, change my search results here a little bit, okay, nothing showing up there. Well, let me show you what this looks like. So if you have a business and someone wants to go and Google you to see, are these guys legit? They're going to go and Google it. And if there's something that shows up over here off to the side, boom, does that stand out or what? I mean, yeah, you got your search results over here, but that stuff's hidden. Like, here's my website, uh, but this stands out. This gives me where I could go and click in and see, like, where they're located. I've got photos in here where I can go in and see, like, the building that they're in, uh, you know, staff members. I've got reviews in here. I can click through to the website, get directions. Um, I could call these guys, I could set up an appointment, all that good stuff and check out the reviews. What? That's pretty awesome. It's like a restaurant, for example. Um, I think my local, uh, jazz movies. I think my, yeah. Okay. So this, this Asian restaurant here, they have a Google my business, but you can see like you can reserve a table. So there's all kinds of different stuff that you can set up in here. You can get like your hours, you can check on the menu and so forth. But I'm going to show you how easy this is to set this up. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go to sign in. Okay, so once you're signed in, you're going to need to add a location. So ignore this create location group, but click on add location. Add a single location. Now, if this was a restaurant chain that had multiple businesses, you'd have to set it up that way. Um, but for right now, I'm just setting up like a single business. So this is where you put in the name. So this is One Local Multimedia. And click on Next. And then Marketing. Consultant. Next. And I'm not going to pick telemarketing. They give you some options, but I'm not going to pick that. I want to go ahead and select ad service. Let's say uh, marketing. And the owner of this business, they can always go in later and add in custom services. I'm just going to add that one for now. Let's click on next. No, let's not set up a location here. Select next. And then let's... Uh, Dallas. And you could add in multiple locations. So you could put in like Fort Worth. I wouldn't put in too many. Next. And then you'd need to put in a phone number for the business. So I don't know what the guy's phone number is. Uh, one, two. I'll right, just put that in there for right now. And let's go back over here and get this guy's phone number. Sorry, this uh, this guy's we got a phone number over here. We've got a website. I'm just going to use this this website for now. We got a oh, let's see a phone number. And this stuff, this can all be updated later on. Uh, but now, if this guy did not have a website set up, we could select get a free website. And Google My Business will create a very, very basic website, which you can go ahead and edit a little bit, which would work. Um, but let's go ahead and click on Next here. And go ahead and finish this. And I'm going to select Verify later. The owner of the business can verify this later. 
they'll put in their address information and they're going to get um, a little uh, mailer that comes in in order to give them like a five digit code that they'll put into Google My Business to verify that they're the actual business owner. So since I don't have the address, even if I had the address to put that in there, I wouldn't get the mail for this business because I don't own the business. Um, so I wouldn't be able to verify this and I don't have the address anyways. But anyways, I'll show you later where you can go in and, and verify this. So let's go ahead and select verify later. So this is set now with bare bones of Google My Business. Now, this guy, when he wants to later on, he could click on verify now and put in that ad address information, right? You can go in and add your hours that you're open. You can put in a little description in here. You know, any of these little things you click through and you can go in and edit. So you could put in like a more about the business. Um, let's go back. You can add in a logo. Uh, you can turn on messaging. You can add the, you can download the app that way. If someone messages you, you could get responses to them and, and follow up with them and so forth. Um, this is connected to Google ads. So if you started running Google ads, you can set that up through here. And some of these options um, I can't do anything with right now because this needs to be verified the business. So there's no reviews for it right now, but uh, for me to be able to like, you know, respond to reviews or anything like that, I'd have to go through this section here or, you know, this section over here, but this has to be verified. Same thing with like learning more about the business in terms of some of the information that I could, uh, uh, no, this is about stats. So this is like in terms of insights. So, Insights over here off to the left is the same thing as this little section here. Reviews reviews right here, this is the same thing as this little section here. You can get to both of those the same place. You just you need to verify this stuff first. You can create posts about your business. I wouldn't do too much about this. Like if you have some events where maybe you're teaching people about social media and you're, you're holding an event somewhere, you could post that out here. Uh, but I wouldn't get too crazy. This isn't like it's Facebook where you're supposed to post every day. But if you post some content out here, it just looks nice. That way if someone Googles this business later, They'll see that off to the side. Now, I just added this business because it's not verified. This will not show up right now in Google business results. So like if I try to Google this, it's not going to show up in the results because it's not verified. So there you go. So it's not showing up there. Uh, okay. Let me walk through some other stuff that we need to change. So posts, again, this is where you'd add in posts. You can add in like an offer, add an update, add events, add products and so forth. Um, info, this is you know where you could update the address information. Um, leave this because you don't, you don't have a, an address listed where people are gonna see it. If you had, a, like I wouldn't put a res, like a residential address right here, but if you had where you were renting some space, um, some office space, then you could put that in there and then it'll show up on the map. You saw like my, my Google My Business, um, it had like a little map image. Let me show you that real quick here. So because I have an address listed that's not residence, you can see like that little Google map image. So someone can click through it, check out the map, see where I'm located, or they can see the address here, or they can click on directions. But if you're not renting any space, don't worry about that. This is sufficient where it just says like your service areas. And again, you could put in like three or four places. I wouldn't put like 10 or 12. That's crazy. You can put an ad hours in to um, put in your phone number. You can update this, uh, this web address, appointment links. So like if you had a Calendly, Calendly.com. And if it was, you know, forward slash one loco multi media. <laughs> Someone has that. Um, so you would copy that and you would just drop that right into right here. Apply. And so then when, when um, someone saw this little section over here, that's where it would be hyperlinked and someone could click through and make an appointment, right? Uh, you're not really selling products, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything there, but you can add in services here. That's if you're women led or better known, uh, you cancel there. This is where you can add in your business description, add in an opening date. Like if you open it in like 2019 or something like that, and then add photos. This is where you can upload 
uh, video and pictures, and you know, including yourself and so forth. Um, you know, logo, cover, photo, and so forth. That I would definitely put that stuff in there. Definitely put some content in there. You can even put like video reviews and so forth once you get those. Um, let's go back. Let's go back. So we we're going through info here. What else? Oh, that's for paid ads. Um, insights that won't show up until you verify the page, but that's just going to show you like how many people have seen you in search results and, and how many click throughs you're getting and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is where you'd go in and you know reply to view, uh, reviews, all that kind of good stuff. Messaging this won't show up until you verify. But this will be for people asking questions. Again, if you download that app on your phone, if they message you, you could message them back really quickly. The messages do not go through Facebook Messenger. It's through uh, Google My Business. So um, if you didn't have the app, I'm guessing you'd probably get like an email notifying you saying like, hey, so-and-so uh, has a question, respond via email in order to go back to them. So it probably works that way. You'll, you'll probably want to test it out with someone. Photos, we already saw this. Products, ignore that. Um, I mean, unless if you're working with a, a client and they sell products, then you could put products in there for them. Services, again, you could add in services. Um, you could... Also, this is the category up here. So like if you had two lines of business, like marketing consultant and like, uh, I don't know, uh, like what would be related to marketing consultant, but not necessarily marketing. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think here what might work. I mean, I guess like if you were maybe like a real estate agent and uh, a, a title company, those are two different categories, but related, right? So you could put like real estate agent and then title company. So like you did the titles for a property as well as selling real estate or something like that. But anyways, um, website, um, users. Users is nice if you want to have someone else, like maybe you could have a virtual assistant that sets this up. So you train them on how to do it. So you could invite a, 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 a VA to come in and help out. Or maybe the business owner is associated on here and so forth. Um, Obviously, I mean, they should be associated with it. The business owner, that way they can respond to the messages. Uh, but you might be added in here as like a, a secondary user to, to edit the page and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's for creating Google Ads, of course. This is to set up G Suite. Um, Want to let you know, though, uh, if you have customers that need G Suite, please reach out to me because I can set this up for them. Um, this is a service that I'm offering now. And uh, so it'd be very beneficial if you can make those referrals back to me. Um, and then I might be able to save them a little bit of money on this. And then if you needed to add a new location, so like if this is a restaurant and we wanted to set up five locations, we could do that. Uh, and to go back to manage those and you go back through here and you'd be able to see all those. Um, that's pretty much it. Settings, this is in terms of like notifications, but that's pretty much it. So it took me maybe like 20, 25 minutes to walk through this with you. <clears throat> that's because I'm talking. If I had not been talking this whole time to explain everything, it wouldn't have taken that much time. But this is definitely something you'll want to do.